Hello, my beautiful reader friends. It's Tiffany with an IE, as you can see. Welcome back to my channel. And for this video, I will be doing a rather late um, book and gift haul for my birthday. Now, um, I turned 30 on March 7th, which was a Monday this year. And I know I don't look 30, but um, I promise you I am. <laughs> But um, yeah, I was just going through a lot of stuff this month, um, health-wise and stuff. I don't have COVID, but um, just other things. And um, I'm feeling a little better now, so I can finally film this. And I have accumulated more things, so I can, I can show them. Um, let's just get into all of this. Um, so first off, one of my pre-orders from last year finally arrived. Um, from Book Depository, and it is the UK paperback of the fourth um, Way Wayfarer's book um, by Becky Chambers called The Galaxy and the Ground Within, and it's purple, and it's pretty. I just like really love this simplistic cover uh, much better than the US um, cover. So yeah, but now I can finally binge read this series because um, my friend Shannon from Book Treks um, really loves the series, and yeah, I've been meaning to pick it up for a while. Next, also from Book Depository, I got um, My Dark Vanessa, and I just really like this cover a lot better. Like, the US cover is black and white, it has a face, and I don't really like it, but I like the colors in here, and I know that this is, um, this has a lot of trigger and content warnings for like child abuse and stuff um yeah but uh i heard really good things about it regardless and i do want to at least try to read this um then i also got this special barnes and noble edition um of anatomy a love story it's red and it also has this exclusive cover that is different from the original and I also um, met the author in person so I actually have my book signed and personalized by her and I showed her pictures of Lucy so that's why she also wrote and Lucy um, Oh, another uh, book depository book. I got The Hollow Heart by Marie Rukowski, and this is the sequel to The Midnight Lie, and I just, I have the original um, hardcover of The Midnight Lie with, like, the really pretty cover that kind of matches this, and then they came out with the ones with, like, faces um, that are illustrated, um, which also still look nice, but I just wanted something that matched my other one, and um, yeah. And it just has pretty font, but there's nothing on the hardcover. Then um, from another book signing, um, the book signings I go to are at Mysterious Galaxy. Um, I got Where the Sky Lives and also Five Things About Ava Andrews by Mar Margaret Dilloway. Um, this is the, books, the book that I was there for the signing, but I ended up getting this one too. And... Um, yeah, she is a local San Diego, San Diego author. Can't talk. Um, yeah, and I actually ran into her at Snooze one time, like way before the pandemic, um, but she's really sweet. Um, and she does a lot of research for her books. This one, she was actually the artist in residence at Zion National Park. So she got to like write about um, just, yeah, the park and astronomy and stuff while she was there. It was really cool. Then I have, um, this one just arrived today, but um, it is Once More Upon a Time by Roshni Chakshi, and it is really tiny, and it's just a hardcover, um, but she's coming for an in-person book signing next month in April, so I'm like, I need to collect her other stuff. <laughs> um, I have New From Here by Kelly Yang. I really loved Front Desk, and I still need to read the other two books in the series, um, but this is her newest one that just came out, so I'm super excited. I have Bright to Ruined Things by Samantha Coho, and I watched the virtual event for this. I've been excited for it since um, two years ago, actually, when she announced it, but it's um, a Shakespeare's The Tempest retelling with um, 
Great Gatsby like vibes in it because it's set in the 1920s. So I'm super excited. It's everything I want. <laughs> then I have Only a Monster by Vanessa Len. And I know some book boxes chose this for their um, monthly book pick. Um, so I've heard a lot of good hype about it. And I watched the virtual event for this as well. And yeah, so I got it because sign book plates. Um, oh, for another in-person event, I got The Lost Streamer by Liz Huerta. Um, I've known Liz for a long time. Um, she used to just come to like a bunch of book signings and be in the audience. And it, it's just great now that um, she has her own book out and we get to come and support her. And it was it was really packed. But yeah, as you may have guessed, she is a local author and she's super awesome. And it was just really wonderful hearing her talk about um, this book and just like her work and inspiration behind it and yeah so super excited for her her book sounds amazing um i also got the obsidian butterfly by lonnie forbes this is the third and final book in the seventh sun trilogy that's based on um mayan mythology and lonnie did sadly pass away um near the beginning of february this year so i wanted to get this um to finish off my collection of her books and to support her and her family and stuff and um yeah I really need to start the series as well but now that I have all three I can binge read them and this book is really heavy like oh my gosh um yeah and I met Lonnie when her first book came out The Seventh Son so I have that one signed and personalized and then the second one The Jade Bones um I got a signed book plate for that one but yeah, so it was really sad when I heard the news because I was like, what? I remember her. Um, yeah, she had stage four cancer. So um, yeah, sending all the good vibes and prayers to her family. Um, now let's go on to more of the non-bookish things. So I have here this very shiny pink bag, uh, mermaid scale bag that my friend DJ gave me. Um, shout out to him. So he got me this really cute um, book sleeve. It's like Valentine's themed and it's purple inside um, from his friend's um, Etsy shop. It is really cute, I like it. Um, then he also got me this giant um, wood wick candle and it is Tranquil Seas, yeah. It smells nice. Um, I'll put it here so it doesn't fall. And then, oh, he got me some chocolates. Of course, my favorite chocolates. And lastly, he got me this. It says, not all who wander are lost. It has like silver gilded edges and yeah. So this is, um, oh, it's just a regular journal type thing. Um, the kids are back, so it might be a bit loud. But yeah, he is always encouraging me, like, when I'm having a good day, when I'm having a bad day, just to, like, journal my thoughts and stuff. And this is a um, J.R.R. Tolkien quote reference. Yeah, and then one more thing, my awesome aunt she got me this little package which i think she put together herself um let me just finally open it see what it is um so uh what can, what i can see from the outside is it looks like it's a starbucks gift card and um also like a mug tumbler thing and also um some hot chocolates so yeah Hopefully it's hot chocolate. Yeah, it's definitely hot chocolate. She didn't use the box for something else. Um, yeah, so this, yep. It's your birthday. <laughs> um, yeah. And then this one. So it's very simple, nothing inside. Yep, that's it. Um, 
so yeah thank you for watching this video um hope you enjoyed it um and let's chat in the comments down below and i'll see you in my next video bye